Hi everybody, Jeff Simon here at AirVenture 2025. I'm at this amazing Michelin booth and I'm here with Frederick Bem. How are you doing, Frederick? Hey Jeff, how are you doing? Frederick handles marketing for the general aviation segment for Michelin and I'll tell you, Frederick, this booth that you have set up here at AirVenture is spectacular. It's amazing what you have just from its diversity. Behind us here, We've got Patrick McAlley's uh, like pits that, uh, for performance. Uh, you can barely see it, but behind there is a skid steer with Michelin, if I understand it, they're twills. Correct, uh, so we have the twills here. So that's a demonstration of uh, airless tires that we could do. Uh, we'll show people a picture of what a twill is in a minute, so you can see that. Then there's, there's simulators where people can come and do racing on simulators. Behind us over here, we've got an actual, what is this car? Well, it's, the, uh, it's a prototype uh, car that uh, is for IMSA. Oh. Uh, so it's, uh, I mean, that, that would be an exceptional level of performance here. So, uh, I mean, like you said, I mean, it's so just a demonstration here of what we are doing uh, in uh, many segments. Uh, so everything that moves could be on Michelin, you know, so uh, including the most uh, performing and the most demanding uh, uh, vehicle in the world. So that is a good example of what we are doing. I mean, that's it, it really shows the breadth of, of Michelin through not just aviation, but all these other exactly. kind of markets and technology. Exactly. But one of the things that surprised me is Michelin has been in aviation, I learned from here at your booth, spanning three centuries. Is that right? From 1890s? That's correct. So we are really a pioneering, uh, I mean, we are pioneer uh, in the aviation world. I mean, so we are there from the beginning. Um, and uh, I mean, Michelin has been uh, just keeping the pace of innovating uh, and uh, providing support to uh, all those aircraft makers. And, uh, and, uh, and, and like you will see, I mean, uh, we uh, we did uh, also many things, uh, you know, uh, for the uh, the space shuttle. Uh, for we are everywhere in the aviation. Uh, uh, we are also, yeah, maybe going to the moon again. So uh, yeah, we're going to uh, see that uh, in a minute. And that is really cool. And you mentioned the space shuttle. I was recently up in Laconia, New Hampshire, at the airport up there, and they have inside there an actual Michelin space shuttle tire on display in that airport. Yes. Uh, so I mean. I mean, that's good that uh, we keep that uh, heritage of uh, telling about, uh, I mean, it's part, it's part of the history also. So we are super proud of what we made. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, uh, showing here, uh, I mean, all the technologies that uh, we developed and we deployed. I mean, it's a, it's a great thing that uh, we could still be able to demonstrate that. Uh, I mean, it's proof from the past, but also, I mean, let's not forget that uh, we, our team are also very innovative for everything that is going to happen. Yeah. We are super excited also to uh, be supportive of the next generation of aviation. Um, so, I mean, be sure that uh, every engineer there is going to work hard uh, to meet the most demanding uh, uh, specification. And uh, I mean, yeah, we keep up. Yeah. Yeah. We I mean, up. you know, one of the things that I think is so cool is the more I've learned about what Michelin has done throughout history for supporting kind of travel and adventure associated with it. When when people think of things like Michelin rated restaurants, that yeah. goes all the way back to adventure traveling in cars in the early days and a guide of where you could go, where you could stop. Right. And then um, you did the Air Cup. Yeah, so exactly. And so so what we like to say is that uh, Michelin is more than a tire. Uh, so so it's about all the uh, experience. Uh, it's all about also the support that you will get. It's all about, uh, um, I mean, just uh, helping people to uh, either you are in the business or you are individual. Uh, the Michelin team is there to support you. Um, and it could be in your experience. It could be in your daily travel. It could be in your business. Uh, could be for sure in every space of aviation from military to commercial regu yeah. regional uh, for sure we are in the business jet uh, we are everywhere in aviation uh, so yes we are embracing uh, more than more than tire by itself right everywhere the, uh, the lifestyle the industry a, all exactly. of that exactly and i think it's part of the heritage of michelin to uh, to just go beyond tire so, mm -hmm. uh, so that's what we do um, and, uh, and also what is very important also is that uh, we, we go for the all sustainable way. So it means that uh, 
in every aspect of engineering, uh, we, we think of think ahead of uh, what would be the, the right materials uh, that uh, yeah. will have less uh, environmental footprint, uh, uh, what would be uh, the best uh, way to to design our uh, tires so that uh, they would be performing well for the, the fuel consumption, uh, what would be uh, uh, in every aspect of our manufacturing, in our supply chain, even in the end of, uh, the end of life, uh, we, we do uh, care about the, uh, the sustainability aspect. Uh, so you see, it's just more than the tire. So it's, uh, yeah. it's, it's everything else. Uh, so including the environment, the experience, uh, the support, etc. Well, let's show you something. I want to go over to the skid steer for just a second because we mentioned tweels and that talks about, you know, sustainability, technology, eliminating parts. Let's go take a quick look at that and I'll show you something because I hadn't seen this before on a piece of equipment. So come over this way with me. Tell me what we're looking at. So here it's a, I mean, it's an airless uh, tire here. Uh, so definitely it's a, it's, a, it's a major innovation that we are bringing uh, into that space here. Um, so basically what it would deliver is its exceptional uh, durability. Uh, also, uh, we have uh, spikes here that would uh, support uh, uh, better comfort for the driver. Uh, so on, it will help with the bouncing. Uh, so, so basically here, on, on for sure, I mean, you are also um, uh, supporting here uh, uh, the operation with the less maintenance, less risk here. Um, so, I mean, it's just, you've got everything here. Yeah. Um, yeah, I saw this in motion before. Yes. When they were moving this around. It is fantastic to see like how it flexes. It does things a yeah. normal tire can't do. It's correct. Uh, yeah. And it's amazing to see. Uh, it's a lot of engineering to get to that point, uh, either in the materials. Um, I mean, let's, I mean, see also Michelin as a, as a company that is uh, mastering the art of materials uh, everywhere. You have, a, I mean, tons of materials that uh, would be uh, uh, the secret sauce, you know, in every yeah. of our tires. And, uh, and so we are benefiting from that also to, uh, to kind of innovate in other uh, aspects. So that's, a, I that's mean, definitely very, very cool. uh, the material engineer that we're able to uh, do that. And also we need to have uh, also process engineer that uh, will, uh, I mean, in our manufacturing, um, uh, it's, it's also a challenge to get to that. Uh, so I can we, imagine. Yes. Well, let's show the ultimate level of this that you have on display. We're going to get to right. see something really, really unique. You're going to get to see something very cool. <laughs> okay, so here we have Tell me what we're looking at. I'm going to get on the same side no, as you so I can hold uh, the mic here. So it's uh, basically here you have, um, so we are part of a project, uh, Artemis, um, uh, so uh, aiming at uh, having a, a, a lunar model a lunar module on the moon again. Um, so, so the group, the Michelin group has been um, uh, innovating here to, uh, so it's a kind of uh, next step from what you saw before here. So it's an airless tire. Uh -huh. Um, made uh, with uh, very particular materials uh, that would completely uh, be able to uh, uh, deliver the right uh, uh, the right strength, the right durability. Because the moon, you know, it's a very tough condition. So that tire will uh, uh, has the ability to withstand uh, the moon condition for at least ten years. Uh, so given the uh, level of radiation that you have, uh, given the extreme condition that you have from negative uh, to positive, uh, that could also, uh, you know, you could have a part of the tire that would be completely cold and the other one would be like overheating. Really? And that material would be able to do the same, to do both at the same moment. Uh, plus it would deliver the, uh, I mean, you don't want to have a vehicle that would be stuck on the moon for sure. So that material has been, uh, that tire has been designed uh, to uh, really uh, be a perfect uh, match uh, with the, uh, the condition of the moon. So we have our engineers that uh, really find the sweet, the right spot, you know, uh, that we are mimicking uh, the moon's surface uh, until we did many trials uh, again and again to prove that uh, this kind of material that is a Michelin innovation uh, will be able to do the job. 
Wow. Um, so yes, yeah, so, so we are very proud of that. Uh, uh, and um, that kind of innovation also is supporting uh, all the innovation that we will bring because I mean, the more we like the challenges, I mean, the more we have challenges, the more we have constraints, the happier we have. <laughs> all right, so, so it means that uh, you're, you're like we'll, need to, we'll need to find engineer uh, that will fix the problem. Yeah. Uh, and uh, as soon as we have that, uh, we will have the ability then uh, uh, to go and develop and to to uh, to spray the technology amongst uh, all our products. Uh, so that's the idea: is to find the, the most stringent, the most difficult situation, uh, find a find a solution, and then bam, uh, wow. we will develop, will deploy. And uh, and is it true that this is this is not a mock-up? This is an actual prototype yes, it is. of yeah. the real lunar Artemis tire, yes, it is. rover tire. It is real. Yes. This is the real tire. It and is. that it's 3D printed, the actual tire, not like a mock-up. Yes, exactly. So uh, yeah, it's part of the innovation of the group. So we are, like we said, uh, innovative both in the material, in the uh, design of our tire, but also a lot in our processes, uh, in our manufacturing. We want to have the top of the manufacturing. Uh, so that's a good. I mean, that's a good uh, example of uh, what we what we master. Exactly. It's really impressive. I mean, a close-up view of this. It is, it is something spectacular uh, to see. Well, thank you so much, Frederick. There's a lot going on thank here. We're going to go over and start talking tire tech now. So um, I really appreciate it. Again, that is. It's amazing to see the actual prototype that you're competing with for the Artemis uh, mission. Yes. Right. right here at the show that everybody can I'm see. Super proud of that. Right. Excellent. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Thank Let's go that. talk tire tech right over here. Right. Hey, well, Randy, yeah. Randy Hetrick, I'll tell you, when I have tire questions, there is one person I go to on the planet and it's Randy. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, I really appreciate that. So fill us in on this uh, new tire for everybody else to understand, because I'll tell you, I've been flying on it in our on our Bonanza, yeah. and I, I noticed a difference. Right. There's no question. Yeah. I know, I've know i already noticed a difference in, in where, in how it taxis on the ground, and how wow. it lands. This is a really, really impressive tire, and, and I've been flying for a couple decades, so tell me what's different here. Well, great. I appreciate you saying that, because we designed this tire to be the best tire in general aviation. So, and this is the pilot, just to yeah, be clear. So, so what's the product lineup so people have the naming structure yeah, right? So we have uh, the Condor tire is our flight school um, tire that we kind of direct towards the flight school. It's a good tire at a more affordable cost. You know, and the flight schools go through a lot of those. We also have an air tire and an aviator tire, and that's been our premier tires for years and years and years. But we have uh, launched a pilot tire just a couple of years ago, and we have about 10 sizes now in the pilot tire. Mm -hmm. And um, so the pilot tire takes advantage of our latest and greatest materials. And it, it went from a four groove pattern to a two groove pattern, but the grooves are wider and deeper. So you still have the same amount of water evacuation. And with the deeper skid depth, the, the intent there is for the tires to last longer. I was gonna say, is that the reason that, cause, yeah. cause I've now been what, one or two years, no, at least a year and a lot of hours on yeah. the pilot tire and the wear compared to, like competitor tires that are out there is no no comparison. Really? That's I good. mean, it's to anyone who's like interested, paying a little bit more and getting a premium tire, you're not paying for the labor of changing it. Yeah. And it seems like it's it's barely wearing. Yeah. And, and yet I don't see a downside to that. Well, good. Yeah. It's uh with the extra tread depth, it may be just a little bit heavier, but it should last a lot longer. That's the intent anyway. Um, and then this year at Oshkosh, we actually have a new size that we have just introduced. It's the 11 by 4-5. It's also in the pilot tire line. This tire, we people have been asking for this tire for about five years. It's kind of geared towards experimental light sport aircraft. Uh, so it's a very small tire, but people have been asking for it. Will you guys please make a tire in this size because we really need a good option for that. So this is a right here at Oshkosh, first time we've actually shown this tire to anyone. Oh, wow. So we're excited about that, you know. We, this we, is we on a lot of vans, right? Yeah, vans, RVs. So this fits lands. a bunch of those. You can kind of see that tread depth and that profile there. Again, that, that I think it's just, there's just so much rubber yeah. as opposed to, you know, grooves. Right. Yeah, so the Lance Air is another one that, um, that runs it. I had a guy stop yesterday looking at it. He flies a Pitts, 
Okay. Um, says that he uses this size on his pits as well. So it, it's a lot of different aircraft that this, this tire could be used for. So let's pass along a little bit of knowledge here um, that you've taught me over the years. Okay. And uh, one of them is what all these markings are. We've got green dots, first of all, here you've got mm -hmm. a red dot. And then there's basically the, the kind of rim that you can use having to do with, uh, you know, round, et cetera. Can you talk us through that? Yeah, so the, the green dots are the vent holes. So most aircraft tires, not all, but most aircraft tires are vented. And what that does, it allows air that's trapped between the casing plies to have an escape path because you don't want that air to stay trapped. And the tube, right? Separation. Like, so when you in, yeah, or the, it. Or if it has a tube, this here is a tubeless tire. But if it uh, if it has a tube in there, also the tube gets, air gets trapped between the tube and the tire. Okay. And then sometimes that air will seep into the casing through the inner liner. And we want to have an escape path so that can get out. So those holes are put there intentionally and it's just deep enough to get to the surface of the cord so that air is going to follow the path of least resistance and follow that cord and then it gets to the one of the holes that'll come out. So if you were to spray soapy water on this tire, you're probably going to see bubbles. So don't huh. look at the rate of bubbles and think the tire is leaking. You really need to do a 24 hour leak check to make sure, and from an industry standpoint, up to 5% in 24 hours is considered acceptable. Uh -huh. uh, we typically see less than 1% in 24 hours, but up to 5% is considered acceptable. And then all of our tires are balanced, checked for balance before they leave the factory. So the red dot uh, represents the light spot of the tire. So you would normally, when you mount the rim, you would put the valve stem in line with this red dot. Wow. And then when you mount the tire on the rim, you know, they, they'll seat. And then you have these lines around here and you can kind of see, make sure it's seated properly about the distance for this line on mm -hmm. the rim there. So. Yeah, you know, um, first of all, I didn't even realize, I always thought that the vent holes were mainly for tubed tires. I didn't realize yeah. air can get trapped in the ply area too. Yes, yes, so the green dots represent a tubeless tire. If it's a tube type tire, it'll have white dots. Oh, okay, yeah. I just knew yeah. dots, yeah. so that helps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that helps a little bit. And I know I've, uh, you know, using that line, if you do have any kind of issue when you put on tires with wobbling or anything like that, uh, um, I know I had a case of a competitor tire, not one of yours, where I put on brand new tires and I just couldn't get them smooth. And by measuring to that line, it turns out there was a manufacturing defect on okay. that. I can say I've never had that problem with a Michelin tire. Oh, well, thank you. That's good. <laughs> yeah, and also, you know, if you want to learn more about the, the tire uh, maintenance and safety, I'm doing a uh, tire talk on Thursday afternoon at one o'clock in workshop B. So Excellent. Yeah, so yeah and we'll be getting more of that education directly on social flight as well, where you can do that for wings credit or for AMP IA renewal credit. We're going to be working with Randy and other folks and putting courses together that you're going to see on social flight. Well, Randy, oh. it's great to see you right, again. Thank you. Appreciate that. Always awesome. And yeah. again, absolutely love the tires. There's a there's a whole range, as you mentioned, that, that you can purchase. Um, I've tried as an AMP myself, as a mechanic, uh, going, I've used Condors, I've used yeah. the whole range. But honestly, I have never been as happy as investing in the top line and then not having to change them again. Right. So to me, yeah. that makes the most sense. Yeah, and I, I, did, I didn't mention the Air X also. We do have a radial version tire also. It's okay. called an Air X. That's mostly for business jets, but for the, for the general, uh, general aviation, most of the, the bias tires are the, are the, the majority of the tires that you'll see out there. So. Excellent. Well, right. thanks again. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Right, for Air you. Venture 2025, I'm Jeff Simon for Social Flight. We're going to swing right around here after I say goodbye, and you get to see the Michelin Mans here as well. And I wish you all blue skies. <laughs>